Xiaomi has been on a roll since the beginning of this year, releasing new phones on the trot and flooding the market with numerous options, ranging right from the entry-level category to value-for-money mid-rangers. It was last year that Xiaomi announced its new series, the Redmi Y lineup in India, with a major focus on its selfie-taking capabilities, to compete against the likes of Oppo and Vivo, who claim to offer the best selfie cameras in the business. They back at it again, this time around with emphasis on your selfie against a certain brand that claims to signify the real me. Let's unbox the Redmi Y2, Xiaomi's latest offering for the selfie enthusiast in you, coming up next on techpp.com. Hey guys, this is Sumuk from TechPP and today we'll be unboxing the new selfie-centric smartphone from Xiaomi, the Redmi Y2. Before we get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified of our future uploads. Let's get to the unboxing. The Redmi Y2 comes in a typical all-red Xiaomi box with a bold Redmi Y2 branding on the front and a few highlighted specifications at the back. We have the gold variant with 3 gigs of RAM and 32 GB of storage. Getting rid of the plastic and cutting through the seal, First up, we find the smartphone itself. Peeling the plastics off and digging in deeper, we have an enclosure consisting of the instruction booklets and a transparent TPU case, something that Xiaomi has been adding into the box for a while now. Next, we find the micro USB cable along with a charging adapter with a rating of 5 volts at 2 amperes. And finally, tucked away to the bottom is a SIM ejector pin. Getting all this out of the way, let's focus on the phone itself. The front of the device houses a 5.99 inch IPS LCD HD Plus display with a resolution of 1440 into 720 pixels, indicating the presence of an 18 to 9 aspect ratio panel. Even though Xiaomi has gone with a taller display, bezels on the top and bottom are still prominent, similar to the Note 5 and the Note 5 Pro. Also, a peculiar thing we noticed was that the display doesn't sit flush with the body, but instead protrudes out from the frame, something you would realize only when you hold the device in hand. There's also the earpiece, a couple of sensors, and a 16 megapixel front facing camera with support for HDR along with an LED flash flagged on the top of the display. The back of the phone seems to be made of high quality polycarbonate with a brushed metallic feel. Xiaomi has added accented antenna lines, which seem like they're there just for the aesthetics, given that network reception shouldn't be an issue through a polycarbonate back anyhow. The camera module with dual 12 plus 5 megapixel cameras reside to the top left with an LED flash between them. Talking about the cameras, the primary 12 megapixel sensor has an aperture of f2.2 and comes with support for PDAF. The 5 megapixel secondary shooter seems to be there for depth sensing. Here are a few camera samples we shot around the office just to get an initial impression of what the cameras have to offer. Xiaomi has also included EIS for video, which is pretty impressive at this price point. It's 2018 and no smartphone camera is complete without AI, and Xiaomi hasn't missed out on its implementation either. One can change facial features like getting slender jawline or bigger eyes or fairer tone using the front camera if that's what you're looking for. There's also a fingerprint scanner placed exactly where you'd want it to be, and in our initial testing, it seems to be blazing fast. To the bottom, we have the micro USB port, the primary microphone and the loudspeaker grill, while on the top, we find the 3.5mm audio jack along with an IR blaster and the secondary mic for noise cancellation. The power button and the volume rockers can be found to the right, which are really tactile and nice to press by the way, while the dual SIM plus micro SD slot reside on the left of the device. Good to see Xiaomi taking the three slots route. Under the hood, Xiaomi's love affair with the Snapdragon 625 continues. For those of you keeping count, it's a Xiaomi 6th, no sorry, 7th, oh wait, actually the 8th smartphone with the octa-core chip and who knows, they might launch another one tomorrow. Jokes aside, the Snapdragon 625 is a proven performer and has stood the test of time. Handling day-to-day -day tasks shouldn't be much of an issue and the 625 is known to sip on battery. As mentioned earlier, the variant we have comes with 3 gigs of RAM and 32 GB of storage, which is expandable through a dedicated SD card slot. On the software front, we have MIUI 9.5 running on top of Android 8.1 Oreo. All of this is powered by a 3080mAh battery, which given the nature of the chipset, should be able to last an entire day with ease. 
It's a significant step up from last year's Redmi Y1 which was powered by a Snapdragon 435 processor, a 5.5 inch display, 16 megapixel selfie camera and a single 13 megapixel rear camera. We're not sure of the pricing yet at the time of shooting this video, but given the specifications, the Redmi Y2 should be launched at a price of about Rs 9000, which competes directly against Oppo's Realme 1 and also Xiaomi's own Redmi Note 5 with the exact same chipset. What differentiates the two Redmi siblings is a larger 4000mAh battery on the Note 5 along with a Full HD Plus display, while the Y2 settles for a smaller 3080mAh battery and a 720p display but offers way better optics, at least on paper that is, with a dual 12 plus 5MP camera set up to the rear and a 16MP shooter to the back, compared to a single 12MP unit on the rear and a 5MP selfie shooter on the Note 5. Not to forget, the Y2 also has a dedicated slot for memory expansion, which might be a big deal for some. Will the Y2 eat into Xiaomi's own sales or is it just aimed at a particular niche to take on other selfie experts? Well, only time will tell. What would you pick? A better battery and sharper display with a metal build or better cameras with a dedicated microSD slot? Let us know in the comment section below. Do hit the like button if you enjoyed watching our content and until next time, may the tech be with you.